Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Um, if you're new here and you've never seen a video on my channel, I'm Derek Martin, the All Natural Bodybuilder. I say the All Natural Bodybuilder, but I'm joined by a lot of cool other natural bodybuilders out there. And I am on a cut. You can't really, the lighting's not amazing in here, but uh, seeing that crazy definition. And uh, no, y'all can't see abs yet because that physique update is most likely going to be. Hmm, I don't know when that's going to be, but it will be soon. And if you ordered a decasthetic tank top, I want to say thank you. And that those will be, I'm getting those ordered very soon. And then they'll be about two weeks after I order them. But the print shop that I go to is actually closed. So they're open tomorrow. So gotta go do that for you guys. Beach? You beach nuts? Mm hmm. Do you like beach nuts? Beach nuts? Do you like. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Do you know what a beach nut is? Beach nut. Yeah. No. <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't tell you. <laughs> God. That's probably something on Urban Dictionary. Oh, it's probably something on something on somewhere. <laughs> probably not good. Beach nut. Beach nut. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm talking about? What? Here. I got some Q&A questions. You want to know what some of them are? How many hours do you train per day? Do you train per day? How many hours do I train a day? Like an hour and a half? Or two? Okay, next question. Show this... Oh, God. Show this question for the new video. What makes you happier? Going to the gym or sleeping? Are you happy? I like them both a lot. I like going to the gym better, though. Next question is from Jefferson. Do you plan on coming to Brazil someday? I don't know, maybe, if I can. Yeah. Um, what is your dream car? A Subaru BRZ. Cylon Series FRS. Blue. Shut up. No. With a happy birthday balloon on the window. <laughs> uh, who is your favorite superhero or villain and why? Ooh. I don't know if it's a superhero, but I like Hercules. But if they're talking like Marvel or DC, I would have to go with my favorite is Iron Man, hands down. Iron Man? Yeah, it's Thor, always been Thor my favorite. And Hulk? Dude, Iron Man's been my favorite since I was like seven. You seem like an Iron Man fan. I love Iron <laughs> Man. And it's just because it's Robert Downey Jr. too. But anyways, um, next question. How can you get a flat belly and reduce bloating? Don't eat a lot of junk food. Pop. Or drink a lot of pop and eat a lot more chicken. I hope this mic isn't just like... Sip water. <laughs> sip that wholesome water. Next question. How many days and hours do you train uh, weekly? Okay, weekly? Hours all combined? Probably like eight to 10. What made you get into bodybuilding and fitness? Should I tell them the whole story? It was a girl. That's all you get. I've told it's the full story. I've told the full story in... Uh, what video was oh, it? Oh, it's a previous one. You gotta go through all. Watch all of them. <laughs> I've told the full story before. Um, how can you start to eat healthy? I mean, how can you slowly start to get in the habit of eating healthy? It's hard. You have to resist a lot of urges at first, and then it gets way easier. Like, you literally have to say no when every fiber in your being is saying yes to unhealthy stuff. Um, last question that I got, because I just asked that you guys asked me questions today. This is the last one I got. What's your favorite body part to train? My favorite one to actually train, um, I like, I don't know. I really like training triceps. But then again, I want to say that it could be chest and biceps. I don't know. I just like the gym here. You want to see a self-portrait of myself that someone drew for me? This is pretty cool. It's not finished yet, and it's gonna look way cooler when my hair's done and stuff, but I'm hyped to see what it looks like. Doesn't that kinda look like me? Yeah, kinda. That chin is on point, and the nose, that nose is me. That's like, I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. Yeah, they got that, the lips too big though. Them lips aren't that big, they're like half the size. My, well no, they, I don't know what the deal is. Yeah. Hey, what? I got a question for you, Stumpy. <laughs> Huh? Is Luke over there? Yeah, he's over there. <laughs> Got a red Nike on, maroon maybe, I don't know. What's what's your name? Me name. I see him. 
Auggie. Let's, let's go out. to the gym. Out in let's, jeans. let's go to the workout in jeans. Working out in jeans today. Get shredded, boys. Get shredded. Yeah, that's right, Luke. Membership. What? <laughs> you know, Dre, I gotta tell you this after the video. <laughs> yeah, not right now. Oh. What are you doing? Quit spilling. Shut up, Luke. I'm adding more stuff. Austin's got stinky shorts. <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> Putting his BCAs in there, too. Dude, there's so much powder in that. Come look at this. Oh. <laughs> it's literally gonna come out of the Might need more water. All right, get, let's get the exciting part. Your shorts stink. I'm gonna. Your shorts stink. No, smell these guys. Smell good. Luke, last time I did this, I couldn't quit laughing because Austin's an idiot. Yeah. He <laughs> okay. This is a fat scoop right here. I'm just gonna eat it. I'm not even gonna like switch it around. I'm just gonna chew it up. I'm not gargling nothing. I'm just gonna leave right, a little bit. Gonna eat it. Come on. I might throw up, so. Hey, come on. <laughs> I tried to chew it. There's a hard part in there. Yeah, oh my god. Stuff <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. As the leaves start falling down And the shadows above the town I can finally see you now I see the fear inside your eyes I see the pain in your smile I can finally see you now
do you do Taekwondo? Give it a mad scream right now, Taekwondo. No. Just like a It'll amp them up over there, and I don't Hype them up. Here, then I'll... Should I do like a kick, too, with it? Yeah, but be out here in the hallway. What are you doing? Mixy, mixy, mixy. Chicken, chicken's Dixie. Shoot. Derek, you gonna put that in the video? The screaming? Yeah. Are you ready to hit this crazy workout today? It's pretty good. What? Are you ready to work out today? Keep pumping monkeys. I, dude, it's hot. In I here. know. It's the car, the car's on. Okay, guys, we just worked out. It was fun. Blah, 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 bye. All right, that's gonna have to work. We're all clear, John Deere, and it is hot out here. The weather forecast for today is um, a fat pump with a side of Deke and another side of Austin and a little bit of dessert with Luke. That was super cringy. Whew, that was, I'm sorry, I apologize. Guys, I wanna just give you an update on how the cut is going. It's going awesome. My temptations to eat um, like cosmic brownies that I told you about last time, my temptations to eat just massive amounts of food are not here anymore. Like, I mean, I'll find myself being like, man, those Cheez-Its look really good just because my house has a ton of just crap food. Because one of the first rules they say about going on a cut is have a clean house, which basically means only have good foods in it. Like only have foods that are good for you to eat while you're on a cut. That is completely the opposite. I live in a house. I don't want to say, I don't live with fat people. I mean, we're a pretty, pretty healthy family, but you know, we got Cheez-Its and you know, Pringles and stuff like that and I just I'm like man I wish I could eat some Pringles and honestly I probably could eat some Pringles and be fine but the thing with me is I would want to eat so many of them and it's just the principle it's just the principle of not eating things like that you, you know what I mean so definitely definitely doing awesome um, not craving super a lot anymore um, Definitely seeing results. It's insane. Like when I started the cut, I remember being at 167 pounds in the evening and I just weighed myself and it's like, what time is it right now? 1217 at night and I weighed myself like an hour ago and I was 160 even. I was 157 this morning. That's insane. So if that gives you any idea of how week one of the cut went, it went very well. And I'm not starving myself because that's probably your next question. I am not starving myself. I have like two or three protein shakes a day. Just make sure I always get my protein. They each have like about 30, 35 to 50 grams of protein in them each. And I always eat chicken every day. I always make sure I eat at least one chicken breast every single day. So now I'm not talking about like the little tiny strips. I'm talking about the chicken breast, the chunky mugs. Yeah. And I, and I also have a serving of vegetables. Like I would say, well, maybe a serving and a half. So a cup and a half of vegetables. I throw it in there, pan fry it with my, um, uh, what my chicken yeah why did I forget that word but that's what that's what I do for cut what's another thing I do for a good cut meal honestly I can't even take credit for this I watched uh, Matt Ogus's video because he's one of the most shredded people I've ever seen in my life and he had some pretty cool like shakes and smoothies and stuff that he makes in the mornings and I, I make some of his fruit ones that he, he does that I mean they don't taste super sweet or super amazing just because they don't have any natural I mean they don't have any added sugars they only have the natural sugars and stuff so they're not incredibly sweet but I put two scoops of my protein in it and I, just, I can get it down it's fine it doesn't taste bad um, let's see what else I I have noticed that when you're on a cut, you get weird little pains that just are your muscles hurting because they're they're not in a caloric surplus. And if you don't know what that means, it just means you're taking in more calories than your body needs to maintain. So it's like cushion for your your muscle. You get you feel really good. You get good pumps. You people you're stronger. People say that um, you can work out longer, and that's that's when you bulk is when you're in a caloric surplus. I'm in a caloric deficit as of now, and my muscles aren't getting like 
overloaded with stuff. They're like literally just getting the bare minimum that they can, like not the bare minimum, they're only getting protein. So they're not getting the carbs that be that kind of cushion weight to them. And you get weird little pains. Like I'm getting a little weird kind of soreness, kind of almost achy feeling, not sharp pain, like I didn't injure anything, but it's just kind of like a weird achy sore pain when I do certain lifts. Like I can move it and stuff. I complained about that in the past couple of videos. Like I can move it and everything. It's just weird pain. I get some a little bit in my left upper chest, even though it's nothing. I work it out and it, it's fine. You get sore a lot easier too, just because you're not getting an acts like like a surplus just tons of excess that's like an excess of calories and vitamins and all the stuff you need and I'm going to tell you about what I did on Sunday I had what you call a refeed day and I really didn't go that crazy like refeed days are basically the nice way to say you had a cheat day and I decided I'm going to have a refeed day or cheat day once a week, and I've chose Sundays to be that day because I ate a foot long from Subway, spicy Italian, didn't put a ton of dressing on it, nothing like that. Got double meat, got the lowest calorie and carb bread on that they had available, and so I mean, I still went pretty healthy. And this next part that I'm about to tell you is where I kind of messed up. I I went to Chinese, guys. Yeah, if any of you guys have been to a Chinese buffet, you're probably thinking two or three things. One, grease, two, sodium, three, carbs, lots of them, okay? I ate a lot of chicken, but as you know, orange chicken, sesame chicken, General Tso's chicken, it's all breaded. There's a lot of carbs there too, if not more carbs than there are protein, I don't know. And greasy, those are greasy foods. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, just because I believe in you guys knowing the real me and knowing the struggles that Deke has had to go through on a cut, okay, right after this commercial break. Do you want to get ripped this summer? Yeah, you do. I need you to go to, I need you to go click the, click the link to the website in the description. Derek Martin, www.derekmartin.com dot store all right now that we are back from the commercial break i wanted to tell you how my like how the chinese buffet absolutely tore me up because i was eating like i told you two two to three protein shakes a day like one of them was like a fruit one so i got my good sugars in like my natural sugar so i wasn't m missing out on those good carbs and everything and chicken and vegetables and stuff just really really healthy pinpointed stuff that my body could absorb 100 percent of and not complain about you know what i mean and I chose to go to Chinese. I went hard. I had egg rolls. I had those like cinnamon, uh, not those sugar bread ball things. Not good at all for you. I had the, I had every kind of chicken you could imagine there. I had the noodles. I had the rice. I had everything. Like I literally was like, bam, 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 bam. I two, two plates. And when I just say two plates, you're like, oh, Derek, only two plates. Two plates this big, like stacked high. Like I ate layers off those plates. And you know what I did right after I ate? I went straight to the bathroom and it went straight through me. And I'm telling you, it tore me up. You probably didn't want to hear that. And I'm sorry if that's TMI, but you needed to know. And then on top of that, oh, that day was just a bad day. Oh my God. That, that. I'm not even going to tell you what happened earlier that day. All I'm going to tell you is I got written up at work and I got a ticket. Try to guess the story between how those two link up. I want to hear what y'all think in the comment section. But anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and then I got locked in that bathroom. So then like the lady who sat me down or whatever comes in she's like laughing she opens the door she's like haha you got stuck I'm just like yeah I got stuck and then I'm driving home and I am struggling like I'm talking to myself I'm like okay you're gonna make it you're gonna make it you're gonna make it please please don't shit yourself please don't shit yourself don't shit in the driver's seat I was 
panicking. Like, I did not know if I could make it home. I get in my driveway, I pull up and I'm like, whoo, whoo, slam it and park, take the keys out, freaking slam the door and run to the bathroom. I'm not kidding. Everything straight through me. My body said, Derek, you're an absolute piece of trash for doing that to me. Why on earth would you make me eat healthy for a week and then get used to your terms of service on that and then go do that to me? You're an idiot. And that's exactly what my body told me. And th it was awful. I mean, it was literally painful. So painful. Like, I, I'm trying to think of something that I could... Okay, this is what it felt like for 15 minutes straight. Picture somebody having a 45-pound plate and dropping it on your stomach from like four feet up. And the impact point is literally how my stomach felt for 15 minutes straight driving home. Okay, imagine trying to hold that bam, like that pressure, the pain. It was awful. It was like, it was to the point where it was hurting in every inch of my body. Every inch. So, next refeed day, I am not going to Chinese. <laughs> that tore me up. I was craving that all week and now all of a sudden that refeed day has helped me with my cravings because I am absolute ugh, ew no anyways if you're still here after listening to another 10 minute rant I appreciate you you're probably an OG or maybe you're new if you're new to my channel subscribe for sure if you enjoy if let me let me see here um what else could I tell you before I go because I have a lot of stuff I could tell you but what I'm going to tell you and what I could tell you are two different things I kind of just want to like let a little bit out at a time each video I don't want to just put it all in your face so yeah maybe next time I'll tell you about my ticket and getting written up at work that was a that was horrible that was terrible let me know in the comment section if you want to hear that story I got a lot of stories by the way but anyways you guys are awesome I consider you like family to me I don't really like like when people say you're fans I don't you're not fans like you might be a fan that's great if you want to label yourself as that but I just I think we're I think we're all family I mean I know we're a big family right now we're like a 21,000 number family we have 21,000 family members right now that's insane to me you realize when I started YouTube I was I I, I didn't expect it to get to this I was like I'll be happy if I'm I'm you know get a hundred and then I hit my first hundred and I was like wow this is crazy what if I hit 500 and then I hit 500 and I was mind blown I was like okay I need to get a camera so then I got that camera and I got a thousand subscribers and I was like oh, this is a big boy stuff so I just kept working and working and working and now we're at 20,000 subscribers that is insane guys should I do something should I do something for a 20,000 subscriber special or a 25,000 subscriber special? Maybe I'll do something for a 25,000 subscriber special because I bet you that'll come pretty soon, like relatively soon. We're just growing this family, guys. You guys are some of the greatest, most supportive people I know. And there's also some of you who get really, really upset for a, I don't even know why in the comment section. Y'all get mad. Like I have seen... 27 comment threads from one person just roasting me 26 comment threads roasting me I'm just like dude I am I am so sorry if I did anything <laughs> to do to offend you like that but dang man you're just I I feel like there's more I don't feel like I made somebody that mad I feel like they they might have some issues at home that's all I'm going to say. But anyways, yeah, like I said, come to me for motivation. Come to me for support. DM me on Instagram, message me, whatever, I don't care. I might not get back to you like immediately like that, but I always get back to you. I promise I always get back to you. And if I don't get back to you, just DM me again. I'm sorry. A lot of people message me because I and ask me real questions, okay? I love getting real questions and stuff. And don't be too broad. Like if really 
you want to get a specific answer out of me? I'll take it. I'll take time out of my day and and say, for example, be like, Derek, what's one of the best leg exercises to build calves? Because I saw in your beginning videos that you had little tiny calves, and now a year later they're looking pretty beefy. What did you do? And I answer those types of questions all the time. I answered one like that today, and it really made me happy because I typed on big old paragraph and was like, here you go. This is what I did, and that apparently they 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 did that workout today. So. Yeah, just definitely ask me questions. Feel free to, I, I'm I'm here. I'm here for you, okay? I know, like, some of you guys are like, eh, he has 28,000 subscribers. He doesn't have time for us. I will always have time for you. Whether it's 20 million subscribers, 20,000 subscribers, doesn't matter. I will always have time for you, okay? And I will always try to make time for you. And I am sweating right now because it is hot out here. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.